I just wanted to take a minute or two to talk about where we're at. Um, you know, we're we're seeing people thrown in jail, like Kim Davis being thrown in jail because she refuses to issue a marriage license to to a gay homosexual couple. Um, and that, or Memories Pizza, having to deal with stuff for the florist that had to, that they practically drove her out of business, if not completely drove her out of business, because of her religious convictions. And you don't see them going after the, the Muslims for it, that believe, don't believe in homosexual marriage. Yet they're going after the Christians. That should be a warning to us all. And, you know, today it's fining or, or throwing people in jail. What, what, what keeps it from being the next step will be killing and, and mur murdering us for, what, for our beliefs. We really need to. Th this is a time where it, we don't, it's, we can't be playing church. You know, we've, we've killed this nation. We've murdered 50 to 60 million babies. That's just in our country. That doesn't include all the others that we've supported, funded, and things we've funded around the world. And you look at the, just all the different things going on, how we're, political correctness is just destroying this country. But it's not about this country, ladies and gentlemen. It's it's about it, it's about the kingdom. It's not about this world. There is no saving this country. There's too much sin. There's too much blood guilt. With the murders of the the innocent babies, uh, the human sacrifice of the human of the babies. And all the different things going on, the homosexual marriage, the the incest and the rape and the murders and all these sorts of things that are going on in this world. The the, the um, economies of the world getting ready to collapse. The the oh, because we have had a unbiblical money supply it's a because God said I hate varying weights and measures I hate it an unjust weight and yet we we do fractional reserve banking and and charging interest charging interest usury which is a violation of the Torah and yet this nation said that originally this nation had um, had based everything on Torah, and now so much is a violation of Torah. The the murder, the ba all these things are, are a violation of Torah. So judgment is ripe for this nation, and I just want to encourage people. You know, it isn't is it isn't time to be playing church. This is serious business, and things are happening you know you can you can believe in the blood moons or, or not <clears throat> and the Shemitah year and all those things but you can look at, at, at what's going on in this world and realize we're in trouble but this is also the time where Christians will shine yes we're going to be persecuted there's no doubt about that. We're we're gonna be killed. We're gonna probably be tortured. We're gonna be you know all these things. But you know sometimes that can be the one most wonderful witness. And what we do when we're persecuted is a ministry and a <clears throat> a. Uh, witness in and of itself how we face the persecution how we face death if it, if or when it comes to that how we face these things 
is so, so critically important. There is no saving this nation, but we must learn from Israel, from what Peter walking on the water, he had faith to get out there, but then the waves and everything else distracted him, and we need to not be distracted this world but by financial problems or by all these different things going on. This is the beginning of birth pains. We, we can't be, we, we, we can't just be, we can't, going to church doesn't make you a Christian. Accepting Yeshua makes you a Christian and or Christian or believer I should say grafted into Israel not I don't really care about titles but grafted in and Torah is the wedding contract it's not about this life it's not about what how much you have in this life it's about the eter eternity that's where what it's about is how we will be judged as Kim Davis said in an interview I saw it is a for her it is a a maybe not a, a uh, issue because if she denies if she denies Christ if she denies Yahweh you know, she's she's being persecuted, and we need to pray for her and many of the other many others in this country. But realize this is only the beginning; it's only going to get worse. But I don't tr seek to discourage people. This is an awesome time to be alive. Yes, there are things going on in this world and in this country. But this is an awesome time to be alive, ladies and gentlemen. We are watching prophecy unfold before our very eyes, I believe. I just pray that this will be useful, that, that wake up out of your stupor. It's not about how many times you go to church. It's about how much are you willing to live this book. You know, this is one of the earlier, earliest translations that I know of. I mean, there's Tyndall Bible and different things. But, and it's not so much about translation, but it's about this book. About the Bible. It's about being in covenant with Him. You know, you should have a Bible that is falling apart. Read this thing. Read this love letter. You cannot go wrong by reading this love letter. It will be the best use of your time ever. And take to heart what it mean, what it says. God is faithful. It's not about this current age, ladies and gentlemen. It's about what, where we spend eternity. That's what matters. May Yahweh bless and keep you all.